What's good, Jess Setters? Now, Crazy Bone from the legendary rap group Bone Thugs and Harmony is coming through with some information you do not want to miss, especially if you are an aspiring rapper, aspiring artist, whatever. He's talking about how record labels are tied in with private prisons. Here's what Crazy Bone had to say. The companies we work for had invested millions into millions into the building of privately owned prisons and that our positions of influence in the music industry would actually impact the profitability of these investments. Wow. Dick says, I remember many of us in the group immediately looking at each other in awe and confusion. At the same time, I didn't know what a private prison was, but I wasn't the only one. Sure enough, someone asked this, someone asked, what these prisons were, and what any of this had to do with music. <clears throat> we were told that these prisons were built by privately owned companies who received funding from the government based on the number of inmates. Mm -hmm. The more inmates, the more the government would pay these prisons. Mm -hmm. 